What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here, coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman from Batman Arkham City. And so here we have the Arkham City Batman pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's run through his accessories. Batman does come with a grapple gun, which does fit in either of his hands, and that looks really nice. He does come with the legs of the Solomon Grundy Builder figure, which we'll have a better look at when he's all put together. And then he does come with a McFarlane display stand. Other than that, Batman here doesn't come with any other accessories. So with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at Batman. So here we have a closer look at Batman, and I really do like the way they did this figure. There's a few things I'm not a fan of, but for the most part, I do like this updated look for Batman. Now, in case you guys are wondering, he is mostly reused from the Arkham Asylum Batman, but there are some distinct changes between them. For starters, the head sculpt. The head sculpt is done much better, although I think this is a little more in-game accurate. This looks a little more presentable. I think they did a much better job on Batman's head in general. I'm just not a fan of the whited out eyes. In the game, he didn't have whited out eyes. He actually had the pupils, which you can say this is Detective Vision Batman, but yeah, I kind of would have liked to see the eyes done just like they were in the actual game. But overall, I do like the head sculpt. The cowl looks amazing. The detailing on it is very phenomenal. And this is probably one of the best best Batman heads that McFarlane has made and if you're a fan of the 90s Batman with the really long ears yeah this Batman has the really long ears for you so yeah really do like this Batman they did a really good job with his uh, skin tone right here as well as his lips that looks really good really do like it although some people might paint it a little more realistic I think it's fine just the way it is so having a look at the body he is the exact same body essentially that we got with the Arkham Asylum Batman but they did tweak a few things for starters just like in game they did modify his bat emblem you can see his is a, a much uh, broader it's thicker and it only has two scallops right here and then going into the tail where this one had the three scallops going into the tail and then the bat is a little more prominent on this one they also redid his cape where this one's the cape pretty much made a straight line going across his shoulders this one kind of does taper around his shoulders and the reason for that is they actually tapered his cape so it's off blowing off to one side here on the original one it has much better texture don't get me wrong this batman still has a lot of good texturing here on his cape but it was just uh, flowing straight down this one I would have loved to see the texture sculpted in the cape now it's still a really nice cape sculpt and I do like the way it flows off to the side so I do like that his body essentially is the same that we got with the Arkham Asylum Batman the shoulders the bicep and the forearms are the same the only new part is this piece of his gauntlet now on the original Arkham Asylum this was a rubber overlay that they just put on his arm they did the exact same thing here and they did update his gauntlet so that it looks more like the Arkham City gauntlet which I have no complaints I think that looks good and you can see because he it's a brand new suit that he gets at the start of the game it's clean there's no wear and tears on it so there's no scuff marks so I do like that and yes at the start of Arkham City Batman gets a brand new suit so when you start out the game he's completely clean in Arkham Asylum he just finished capturing the Joker I really do like that it looks really good one thing I'm not a fan of is the way they did his utility belt now despite the fact it's the exact same sculpt this one is much better in terms of paint this one is very flat very boring very plain this one has a lot of character to it i might just end up doing a trunk swap on these characters just because his trunks are still black and they're the same sculpt everything on it is the same but i like the paintwork on this belt much better so i might just pop their legs off swap their underwear and give this one the more weathered uh, detailed belt because even though the sculpt is pretty clean, it's not accurate to Arkham City, I still would have preferred that old belt versus this one. It just shows you 
the cost cutting measures McFarland has to do now to give these figures at reasonable prices so unfortunately yeah paint does suffer a little bit and then we go on to his legs where the the exact same legs as the Arkham Asylum Batman all the way down to his uh, greaves which that isn't accurate he had brand new greaves in the game but cost saving measure Batman here is mostly reused parts with some brand new areas sculpted but overall yeah same sculpt same articulation scheme but I really do like this head it's one of the better Batman heads so good job on McFarlane giving us a really solid Batman head I kind of wish they had given him the eyes like he should have but overall really do like it so with that out of the way guys let's actually get Batman compared to other figures you may have in your collection and so here we have the Arkham City Batman pose next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have Batman pose next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112 Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have Batman pose next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And for one final comparison, here we do have the Arkham City Batman pose next to the Arkham Asylum Batman. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's have a look at Batman's articulation. Batman does have a double ball joint here at the head, which does let him look up really nicely. He can't really look down, which was a problem with the original Batman figure. They didn't give him enough clearance looking down, but he can tilt his head side to side really nicely, and it does get some really good range, does turn left and right very nicely he still has the ball socket in the shoulder which does provide some forward and back movement up and down out to the side no problem he does well he would go all the way around if his cape wasn't hindering his articulation we saw this on the arkham asylum batman it's a little more prevalent here because of the way his cape drapes over his shoulders instead of just making that line but yeah it is a little bit hindered he still has a bicep swivel which works fine we have a single bend here at the elbow unfortunately doesn't even get past 90 unfortunately he does have a hinge here at the wrist which does go in and out or up and down depending on how you have that joint situated and of course it rotates on that pin he has a ball joint here at the shoulder or at the torso which unfortunately doesn't lean forward leans back a little bit side to side rotates we have another ball joint here at the waist which is kind of stiff on mine does lean back doesn't lean forward leans to the side nicely and it does rotate legs do kick forward to about right there which is pretty good I do like that they kick back out to the side very good getting that karate kid kick right there he does have a thigh swivel which is very minuscule we have a double bend here at the knee giving us some pretty good range we do have rotation here at his foot as well as a hinge which goes back to about that far forward not so much forward facing pin for rocker ankle and then of course a very generous toe hinge so overall batman here has some pretty solid articulation hindered in some spots could be better in others so with that out of the way let's actually get batman posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review and so here we have the mcfarland toys dc multiverse arkham city batman pose for my final thoughts and overall this is a very good batman figure i don't want to say it's great there's some things that on it that could be much better in terms of articulation sculpt and detail he could be a little more accurate to the game which is what a lot of people were hoping for but being mcfarland they had to reuse some parts to make this figure a little more cost effective and i do understand why they did it it's really easy to convert the arkham asylum batman into the Arkham City Batman despite the fact he has some uh, aesthetic changes they were able to get enough that you would if you were to look at the two figures you would be able to see that they are too different despite the fact they share 90% of the same sculpt I do like the updated cape the fact that it does drape off to the side makes it a little bit easier standing this figure but I kind of miss the detailing that the old figure had on this figure. If this one had a detailed cape like that one, it would be much better. And if he was a little more video game 
accurate, he'd be an even better figure. But as he stands, he's still a good Batman figure. Don't get me wrong. If you are looking for a Batman to have in your collection, this is a very good Batman to own, mainly because he has the whited out eyes. You can actually fudge him into your comic book collection, or you can actually use this head sculpt for your comic book Batman, depending on how you want to have this guy pose. Depends on where you're going to put him. I'm going to have mine in the Arkham Universe section of my display, just because I really am a huge fan of the Arkham Asylum games. I played every single one of them. I enjoyed all of them, even Origins, even though that's my least favorite. This is still a very good Batman figure. I kind of wish he came with more bad accessories, but the fact he does come with uh, pieces for Solomon Grundy, I do understand why he didn't get all the accessories that we saw with the other two Batmans. Overall, still recommend this Batman here for your fan of the Arkham City look, the Arkham Asylum series, or just want a really good Batman in your collection. This will do exactly what you need. Look menacing, stand imposing, and I really do like the way he came out. I did pick up mine from Amazon, where I did get the entire case, so I will be having a look at Grundy uh, sometime this week. Really do like this figure. If you want to pick Batman up, he is going to run you about $25, which is the standard price for your McFarlane Builder figure series. So yeah, it's standard price, standard Batman, really do like it. So with that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other DC Multiverse videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified anytime I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.